All right, so here's another one, 5.2 with factoring. We're going to do slide and divide still. The more examples you see of this, trust me, the easier it's going to come. That's why I'm giving you a ton of examples with slide and divide, and I'm giving you some crazy ones at that. So slide that 7, so 7 times negative 27 is negative 189. So it's x squared plus 60x minus 189 now. So what two numbers multiply to give you negative 189 that also add to give you 60? All right, well negative 3 and 63 work. So when I plug this in, it's x minus 3 and x plus 63. I slide by 7, so now I need to divide by 7. These have nothing in common, so there's nothing I can take out, but these, right, those have something in common. Okay, when you take a look here at these, um, I can divide a 7 out of both those, so I end up getting x minus 3 7 and 63 divided by 7 is a positive 9. So, I can't have a 7 on the bottom, so I move that up, so I get 7x minus 3 and x plus 9. So I separate each of those to equal 0. I have to add 3 on both sides and subtract 9 on that one. So I get 7x equals 3, and this one's already done, x equals negative 9. So, divide both sides by 7, and we get x equals 3 7 and x equals negative 9 as our answer. Um, this is very important uh, concept here. Um, keep in mind that it is one of the best foods, fish sticks. Um, they are literally one of the best foods. Um, trying out another one. Um, 2 times negative 21, we slide and divide. That gives us a negative 42. So I get x squared minus x minus 42. So um, we're doing this. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 42 that add to give you a uh, negative 1? And this one is a little simpler. It's negative 7 and positive 6. So I plug the negative 7 in, plug in the positive 6. All right, so I slide by 2, which means I divide by 2 on both of those. This is as simple a slide as I can make it. This one, I divide both by 2. When I do that, I get x minus 7 halves, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Remember, you can't have a 2 on the bottom because it's a fraction, so I move the 2 out. And we end up getting a 2x minus 7 and an x plus 3 equals 0. So I set each of those up equal to 0. I add 7 to both sides. I minus 3 because I'm trying to solve these equations. So I get 2x equals 7, x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. And we end up getting x equals 7 over 2. And we get x equals negative 3 as our two answers. So, in conclusion here, to keep this in mind, um, the quarries, right? Taking a look at these. Um, the two quarries, the moral here is use it or lose it, all right? The slide divide technique is here for you to use. And normally what happens is when you don't use this concept and it doesn't stay fresh in your mind, you just completely waste it and you, you, you forget all about it. You waste it like they wasted their careers, right? Two great actors. They really were. Those of you who are familiar with some 80s movies, killer 80s movies between these two. What happened? What happened? Exactly. Exactly. You, if you don't use it, you lose it. So, slide and divide is the wave of the future. That's the theme. Please keep that in mind.